just off the 405 freeway in downtown Los Angeles. I'm at Cohen with Jay Williams. Jay, between the Laker girls, the purple and gold, all the banners, all the celebs, you better stay focused. Ed, are you reading my mind right now? There's a reason why I'm late to the game. Those Hollywood parties, nothing better. But let's get it on the court. No distractions here tonight. The opening tip corralled by the Lakers, and we're underway in downtown Los Angeles. Jay, the Lakers, not just a great franchise, but they are a brand in the NBA. With LeBron James, what do you make of Laker fans accepting him maybe now or down the road as one of their own? They better accept him now. I agree wholeheartedly with Jeannie Buss when she said they're not Laker fans if they're not happy about LeBron James. He is a Laker, and this is one of the most loyal fan bases we have, not just in this country, but in the entire world. The most Twitter followers of all the teams in the NBA. Ball to James. Stuffs it down with authority. You see, you can't actually get mesmerized by the ball. You actually have to focus on the dribbler's belly button. I know that may sound cheesy, but trust me, he can't go anywhere without his core. to the basket, but it's no good. It's easy for the offense to get agitated when you keep turning around and the defense is right there in your face. The jawing is only going to escalate. Unbothered by the defense as he drills it. It looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game out. I know it looks like he's just playing around out there trying to get the fans going. That is true, but he's also finding his rhythm. Curling inside. Cleans it up. And a put-back slam. Woo, that's nasty right there. And stuffs it home. And when you get your prescription, you take your medicine and you call it a day. Boston with the basketball. Irving. Surveys the floor to Hayward. Irving to Hayward from long range. And it's Chandler with the rebound. Deep three at the buzzer. We're through one from Staples Center with the Lakers on top. Jay and I back with more after this. You're watching the NBA on EA Sports. One quarter in the books. This has the potential to be a good one. Well, both teams had their rhythm. They established the tempo that they wanted to play at. But ultimately, something has to give. Some team has to draw a line in the sand. It's blocked by Chandler. That kid can block out the sun, Ed. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. So he should get some kind of acting award. That's a great sell by the offensive player. But guess what? The refs bit, and that's the game. Good to finish off the three-point play. The lead is up to five. Ball's controlled by Boston. Irving. Jay for once, Trader Danny was Danny Ames. Celtics didn't do that much, but believe it or not, outside of Toronto, Eastern Conference didn't see much change either. Yeah, they didn't need to do anything if you're the Boston Celtics. You already have all the pieces to the puzzle. Philadelphia wasn't able to land LeBron. LeBron James leaves Cleveland. He goes out to L.A. And Toronto, almost in a Hail Mary trade, ends up getting Kawhi Leonard. And who really knows if he wants to play there and be there emotionally for one year? There's no doubt about it. The Celtics are now in the driver's seat. LeBron James trying to cash in on the three-point play for his career, 73%. That's the bucket. That's the bucket. Here's Irving into the front court. Margins eight. Finish.
finishing inside the paint on that one. Jay, would you classify him among the elites in the game, especially among wings? It depends on what category of elite you put him in. As of right now, he will be my second tier elite. Because when I think first tier elite, I think Kevin Durant, LeBron James, Stephen Curry, Kawhi Leonard, Anthony Davis, James Harden. I think Gordon Hayward has a chance to be there. He was on his way there before he got hurt, but time will tell. Irving to Hayward. It's the... Whoa! Get that out of here! Message sent, Jay. Horford to Hayward. Nice pace, sets it up, and slams it down. You look at Gordon Hayward, who does he remind you of in the NBA? Paul George more so on the offensive end. He has the height and the sides to shoot over smaller guards. Plus, I love the fact that he utilizes his body. How about in his seven years with the Utah Jazz, he made 53 million. You're seeing his game really blossom, which is the reason why Danny Ainge signed him to that four-year, $128 million deal. How you practice leads to that nice pump fake. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was gonna happen. Hayward. Not that time. He missed it. Throws it down off the alley-oop pass. Jay, that's a strong connection. And it's always about the play before the play. Look how the eyesight was able to connect between two players. We call that an eyesight contract. Because when you have a contract that's signed, sealed, and then delivered like that, that's how great plays are made. Plenty of contact. The shot no good. Desperation shot here from half court. First half in the books. So far, it's been all Lakers. Back to Ed and Jay to bring you the second half action. Kyrie Irving controlling the offense. Fires the three. They need something to go down. It's no good. Across the timeline comes James. His guys lead here early stages, third quarter. Irving with the basketball. His guys trail by 10. And count the basket inside. Strong finish. That's what you need, regardless of contact, focusing on the rim. Ball to James. Jay, Magic and Kobe each won five titles. Will Chamberlain, Jerry West, each won just one with the Lakers. Elgin Baylor didn't win any. How are you going to judge LeBron James' legacy in L.A.? <laughs> LeBron James wins one championship in L.A. That means he will set himself apart. He will have won four championships in three different cities. Now, that is polarizing for some fans because when you see the likes of Kobe or Michael Jordan, they won all their championships in the same city. That still does not take away from the overall greatness and the legacy of LeBron James. The free throw, good. And they add one more to the lead. It's up to 11. Kyrie across the timeline. He'll run the offense. Kyrie Irving. Oh, three for eight. He's got to do better. No doubt about where that one was headed. Stuffs it down with authority. It's easy to become mesmerized when you watch a player who can create off the dribble. We call that dancing. When you allow a player to dance with that much space, that's Prob City. The ball in the hands of Kyrie Irving for three, not that time. Pass to the rim, and a pass stolen by Boston. You know, Ed, sometimes you're just more ready to play than your opponent. The intensity and the effort is off the charts. And takes it away. Ball, there's the toss, flushes down the slam. 
He took it out on the rim that time. Oh, there's no better feeling than after throwing that one down, hanging on the rim a little bit, looking at your opponent beneath you, making him recognize that's where you'll be the entire ball game. Irving into the front court. The deficit now up to 13. Here comes the screen. Kyrie Irving for two. Can't connect. Driving right to the basket. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. People become so fixated on the hands or the arms or the strengths of the arms. I look at the legs, the strength of his legs help him power through that play. That's how you get and ones. Free throws good as they continue to widen their lead. Deep three at the buzzer. Third quarter comes to an end with the Lakers in command. It's Lakers ball as we start the fourth quarter. And this one, Jay, not totally in the win column yet, but with a double-digit lead, you have to like their chances. I love when I start seeing fans exit the arena so early in this game, and I hear people say, this one should be in the back. Well, guess what? It's never a guarantee. You have to be careful not to slow down the pace of the game and take the air out of the basketball. You have to put your foot on the gas and try to win this game with a sense of urgency. Irving to Horford. And that's rebounded by Kuzma. The game is won in the details. The team who has the most attention to the minutia is a team that wins the ball game. And from the beginning of this game, this team has been mentally engaged. I know the season's a long year, but when you come mentally engaged and you have attention to detail, whew, that's a scary thing to watch. Hayward. Ball to James. Can't slam it down. Celtics have it. Two points to the board. You know, I just want to thank the man above for allowing a guy like Gordon Hayward after that horrific, awful injury he had in opening night. So good to see my dude back on the floor and doing his thing finally healthy. To ball. Shot from the lane, won't go. Hayward. To Irving. 4-3. It's good. Defense has to pick things up. Ooh, that confidence level is so superior. Whenever you start jacking back on defense before the ball even goes through the net, that speaks for itself. That's out. Last touch by Kyrie Irving. Kuzma. To James. Blocked. Oh, and he can't keep it in off the block. Man, that was impressive. Kuzma. Lakers down to four on the shot clock. 
Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. And I love the smile on the face of the offensive player. Sometimes luck is on your side. I don't know how that shot went in, but and one. Good. Add one more to the total. This game feels out of reach. I got him, I got him. From the painted area, won't go down. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. And I know there's so much excitement about the play, but everybody looks at the player. More people need to pay attention to the guy at the end of the bench, the strength and conditioning coach, because this kid's been putting in the time and effort every day in the weight room. Jalen Brown at the line for a chance at a three-point play. A career 65% free throw shooter. Free throws good to cap off the three-point play as they draw a tiny bit closer. The Lakers get the victory as they win this one handily. That does it. For my partner, Jay Williams, and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. As we say, so long, everyone.